Dude, what's up, guys? I'm busy. I'm back, man. Like I never left. God bless you guys. Hope all is well. You know, I always hope all is well with my own brothers and sisters. You know, you know, this life can be a roller coaster sometimes. You know, you know sometimes you can really lose uh, strength. You know, God said not to waver in faith, but you know, sometimes, you know, when you're going through certain things, you don't understand why. He, I know how how it feels to go through something and you just don't understand why because you feel like you don't deserve it. And you're like, What did I what did I do to anyone to deserve this type of um these type of issues? But um just know it's people all around the world that's feeling the same way. And we all going through that type of affliction all around the world. But you know we might not deserve it but we do deserve it at the same time. <laughs> you know, and to be honest, we don't deserve to be it because you know, we we sin against God. But it's by God's grace, of course, and His mercy, and we're His children. And He loves us, you know. And He allows us to be able to still live after we do, um, you know, after we just do things that's not right in His eyes. And even after we might uh, rebel, of course. You know, even dabble in things that's not of God. You know, some, sometimes we, some of us dabble in things because of the lust of the eyes or the, the greed to, to want to know how it feels to do certain things you know once we we get uh we get into once we feel how it feels to do those certain things some of us never come back you know we really get lost some people really get lost in, in bondage because god told us uh if you ever heard the word it's called butter butter and honey so honey is like the evil and uh jesus mary god bless mary with it jesus of course um, to have no want of honey, so that's basically like the evils of this world. And butter is the things that's good, because you know, butter really isn't sweet. And God already told us not to eat from the tree of um, evil. So that's basically they call it the tree of evil and honey, honey and butter. I mean, honey and uh, the tree of evil both like correlate together. Um, that's like dabbling in the things that's really not of God, of course. And uh, it feels good to do to eat from the tree of evil, you know. You know you're being deceived by your flesh. You know sometimes it's not the devil. Sometimes it could be just your own self. You, you not being um, you being overruled by the flesh. You know this life is a sacrifice in itself. Just the the love of God is a sacrifice in itself. You know we don't want to be we don't want to destroy ourselves because to all the people that that glory of eating and of, of the honey, they're gonna be destroyed. They want you to be destroyed with them, but don't fall for the traps of the devil. Just like the devil knows he his he, he has better short time, so that's why he's coming upon earth with great wrath upon the short time of God. Because you know once it's over, that's it. He has to be cast into the lake of fire with brimstone, and everyone else who's who's living for him, not the ones who are ignorantly living for him, but as far as the uh, people who really like live for him, like yeah. But as far as people living in sin, you still really living for you living for Baal as well. Uh, God said, Mammon. God said you can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and serve Mammon. So Mammon is living in the being of the world. Mammon. You can't be of the world. You can't be of say you of God and you living for Mammon. You gotta pick and choose. You gotta hate one or hate the other. You can't love. One. You can't love both. So you gotta pick and choose. And God gives us a choice. You know, that's why I mean how would God what would God look like if he forced uh, force that's like dictatorship right dictatorship is like when a person forces you to do this and uh, if you don't do this I'm gonna kill you on sight and you see wicked people doing going against God all day for years they still living they've been living for years and the children of God it seems like we go through more than what the wicked do and that's evident that's true that, that's very true but you know what it's okay. God is gonna reward us for the, the um, enduring. He said, for "Those who endure all will inherit all things." And um, um, what the scripture we're gonna be talking about is what's gonna be happening to the wicked. So, if any person that um, knows, if a person um, is used by the devil, the spirits of them are gonna do all they can in their flesh to uh, try to bring down in, as much as people as he can. And it's like it's like a being it's like being a crab in a bucket. You ever heard of seen a bunch of crabs? They both pull each other down. So those are basically like the demons that are um, 
in this world. They want to pull down the believers. If they see you trying to uh, change, they, want, they see you picking up your cross, and they seeing you like giving up on the things of the world. They, man, they do all in their power to pull you down because they must know they 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 damned into hell. Man. Anyone knows being left behind doesn't feel good. When a person is left behind, they don't want to be the only one going through those things. So they try to clip other people. Like, it make, it'll make them feel better. Even though it's not going to make them feel better, you're still going to feel that pain. You're still going to reap what you sow. So just know, as children of God, we got to do all in our spirit. Every inch of your fiber, every inch of your soul, mind, and body, you got to fight. You got to fight to make it to the kingdom of heaven. And some people, a lot of people think it's going to be just easy as ABCs. You know, it's going to be a lot of people in these last days are going to fall back, fall away from God, of course, because of um, tangling of the ears, tangling of the ears, and also the um, false doctrine. People are going to be falling away and getting into false doctrine because they can't, they don't, they don't have desire to follow what Christ wants them to follow. So that's the thing. So I'm in the book of Malachi. We're going to be reading from chapter 2. And chapter 10, I'm going to read verse, uh, let me see, let me see, verse 3, I'm going to go down. Heavenly Father, before I speak this word, Sp flow through me, speak through me, Lord, think through me, I'm going to speak the right words so I can get it across Strip clearly and touch my brothers and sisters' heart and mind and soul. In Jesus' name, we thank you, we give you thanks, we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. So let's go. God is good. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. So let's go. You know, when you come from a background where you you hung around people, so-called, you know, popular people, cool people, uh, people who uh, had all the women, uh, men, uh, or people that was known to have money, and they see you doing things like this. You know, say they see, if they see you in the street, and they know you're doing this. Some of them definitely look down at you like they, like you are, like the epitome of life, like, don't even look at me, don't. I don't want nothing to do with you. You know, you know the pride is a venomous thing, pride. And uh some people don't know how to let go of um that the flesh, the life the lifestyle of the, of the carnality. You know, living carnal, it only leads to death. And we 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 rising above, man, you gotta see the brighter picture. You gotta you know, some people are are, are, are receptive to the Lord's um voice and to uh you know what he wants you what, what he wants best for you because you know the things that God wants best for you it'll live it'll prolong your days it'll give you peace it'll give you supernatural protection you know what happens with other people it won't happen to you because you're favored by God because you, you you're abiding under the shadow of the Almighty you putting your trust in the Lord God said blesses he who puts their trust in the Lord and of course you you live in the mercy so God said uh, uh, don't contend evil with evil so if you feel the mercy even though, towards your enemies God will be merciful unto you. God said, if you forgive, if you want me to forgive you, you got to forgive your enemies. You know, if you don't forgive people, how do you expect me to forgive you? And that makes perfect sense. So he wants us to overcome with love. Now, it's the difference between arbitrary. Arbitrary, you know, they're, they're strictly, they live out to try to kill and steal and destroy you. Now, you have every right to pray and warfare against that person. To, for God to really strike that person out of your life because... Some people are really um, sold out for the devil, and they don't have no control over themselves anymore. And it's not the spirit of God within themselves anymore. So you gotta actually, you gotta warfare and pray for the for your your adversaries to be scattered, scattered by fire, by force, in the name of Jesus. It's literally. So yeah, let's get into it. Malachi chapter two, and it says, "Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread spread dung upon your faces. Even the dung of your silent feast, and one shall take you away with it." So he said, um, and this is the uh, this is this is happens because it said, and now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you, and if ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, said the the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessing. And yeah, I have cursed them already, because you do not lay it to heart. Lord, I will corrupt your seed, your children, your children be corrupt. So that's why so many corrupt people in it. Uh, you know, you got double seeds. You know, you got the children. These children being raised as worse, more worse than the adults. You know, they come out the womb and they only about possibly five years old. Talking F you, B word this, B word that. So it's like 
you have true devil seeds. You have the seeds of the devil um, on earth, and um, they they don't the, the spirit in them hate hates the children of God. So when you really think about, it, imagine a person that's um he has to go to court and he's in a courtroom, and the demons within those spirits within those people that's you know the persecutors the uh, the prosecutors the um, jury. Imagine if all of them are not of oh God. The spirit within them, because it's deep in flesh. We don't war against flesh. Uh, they see, they see that you're a child of God. The spirits within them, they will try to slam you. They will try to slam you, even if you're innocent. They try to slam you and and give you no type of chance to win. So that's why prayer is so important. Because if you know the depths of the, the spiritual thing in this life, you will pray more. Because God can control. He can tort situations. So, you know, you got people that lean on their own understanding. They try to lean on their own intellect, on their ele eloquent speaking to to get them through situations when that's not going to change a demonic situation, especially in a court. So you, you can be in a courtroom because somebody lied on you saying that you hit and run somebody and uh, now they, they got a fake video of you uh, hitting and running or something like that. And now you, you have no money to beat the battle of this because... It's too much. You know how much lawyers cost. You need about ten thousand, eight thousand. Try to come on now. So um, so you need to pray. We need to pray. And ask God to favor us in every situation, in all aspects, and turn around for our favor. Because you know, these people that's operating in wickedness. You see what they just said. He said, "I will send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessing." Yeah, I've cursed them already, because you do not lay it to heart. So, you know, people are cursed, and they wonder why. Like, why am I cursed? So. And then that, that some people are cursed and not even understand or to be convicted on what they do to other people. So they're cursed. So I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon you. And it's like the seed of the, of the person that's cursed, they come out worse than their father. They come out worse than their mother. So it's like a double, double portion of evil. And it just waxes more and more. Then that child has a kid. And he's worse than the last generation. So it's just, imagine, if you just think about it, it's just, it's too much. So it says, um, but I will say, I will, I will, I will spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your silent feasts. So he's even talking about offerings, people that these priests that do offerings of, to God. You're not living a righteous life. He said he doesn't even want to accept it. So then one shall take you away with it. So he's saying one will take you away. With it. He, will, he will allow evil to come and take you away. He said, and ye shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with Levi, said the little host. So my covenant was with him of life and peace. And I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me and was afraid before my name. So anyone who fears the Lord, that's that's wisdom right there in itself. Anyone that does not fear the Lord, their actions will display it. Now it's the difference between being in bondage and being and uh addicted. A demonic spirit can have you addicted. Now that person is you just need real deliverance. You need someone to really lay their hands on you and break the yoke or whatever is controlling you. It's just like I said, uh, it's powerful. It's in the heavenlies that have taken over people. And at this point, their spirit is not strong enough to um, overpower that. The, the power that's really uh, empowering the flesh to overtake them. It's just like eating a bunch of candy. You can't stop yourself from eating candy. Same thing with the flesh. Uh, you're being overpowered. You're being overruled by the powers that be. You know, the dark powers want you to do any and everything that's against the nature of God. Glutton. Strife, murderer, contentious, uh, a liar, blasphemous, all the above. Um, my